Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. We didn't end up going to Computex this year like all the other tech channels, because we don't have the funding to do so. But I did go to DreamHack Austin, and I found a little nugget that you guys might want to keep your eye on. So I went to DreamHack Austin to watch some StarCraft, and I also went to look at some computer hardware. And as I was perusing, nothing was really catching my eye until I came across this company called Halo Computer Cases. And they have some chassis that really caught my attention. So Halo Computer Cases is a brand new startup company that is currently self-funded just like us, something that really made me connect with them. And they decided to get a booth at DreamHack and show off their product. They have these open air concept computer cases that really stand out from the rest with very bright LEDs and lets you show off your computer in a way no other computer case does today. Just FYI, they aren't paying me to do this. I really don't review products very often, if ever. Josh has done our only product review up to this point because I don't really feel that that's interesting. However, this one product I thought stood out above any other and I really wanna help these guys get off the ground because I think they have a good shot with what they're starting out with. The footage you will see is from a GoPro I brought to DreamHack and the lighting in the convention center was terrible and the GoPro didn't really have that great of a quality so it's not really doing it justice but you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what these computer cases look like. First thing you'll notice are the bright LEDs that really make your chassis pop. And second thing you'll notice is the very open case design. There is no back, front, top, or sides. There is just a mount for your motherboard and uh, other components. And there is also a bottom to help stabilize the chassis, which is very important because on a chassis that's open case like this, you're gonna be worried about tipping it over. The other thing that is great about this is the weight and build quality. They decided to go with solid steel for their chassis in order to create very solid rigidity, which also helps to prevent the tipping. They support mini ITX and full ATX motherboards, and they have extensive support for custom liquid cooling loops that will really help make your computer that extra something special. You also have the option to rotate the motherboard tray in various orientations, depending on how you want your computer to sit and look. One really great feature about this case is the cable management is so simple. There are actually two uprights that you put all of your cables in between. And he actually showed me that he had just put together one of the computers and he said he didn't have all the time to go through all the typical cable management steps. But it still looked fantastic because you just couldn't see them. They were tucked away between the two uprights. And it really makes every computer look clean. They also have the option to purchase with your chassis a headset stand that will have LEDs to match your theme and have a very sleek look to it. And moving on to the wall-mounted chassis. When you guys look at the footage and see the pictures, I don't have to tell you this is for the ballers of you that really want to go above and beyond when it comes to your computer. This is for those of you that want to show off everything because you put your heart and soul and well-earned money into the best computer you could possibly imagine. It's really extravagant. It's really nice, it's built from an aluminum chassis this time, but it does have steel reinforcing mounts that go into three studs in the wall in order to make sure that you have the best mounting for your computer, because let's face it, you don't want it falling off. It also has extensive support for liquid cooling, as you can see in the footage. It is just top of the line, bonkers, awesome. A lot of people have wall mounted their computers before, but this is really the next level of just awesome aesthetics, and it's gonna stand out from pretty much anything you can do on your own at home. Now, I've talked up these chassis quite a bit, and I honestly do love them. I plan on getting one in the future, but there are a couple cons to keep in mind. First one is the LEDs are preset colors. They do not have RGB at this time. They may put that in the final product. So you have to have a color theme in mind before you ever place your order. Second major con is the steel plates for the chassis do not come pre-coated. So you're gonna have to coat them yourself with either paint or some sort of gloss finish. They may offer in the future to pre-coat them for you at an additional cost, but that is not guaranteed. I talked to them a little bit about that, but don't expect that. Hopefully it'll happen though. The third and final con is the cost. The desktop chassis start at around $200 and the wall-mounted chassis starts at around $500. 
It's a pretty big pill to swallow. However, if you think about the grand scheme of things, if it's gonna be a custom loop computer build that's gonna last you a while, it might be worth the investment on the front end. To put that into perspective, I try to keep my costs pretty low, but I thought this computer case was so good that I am fully intending at the end of the year when I build a brand new custom rig for myself to make this my chassis of choice. They do have one more product in the pipeline. It'll be a much smaller wall-mounted chassis that'll be much more realistic for your everyday consumer. However, they do not have a prototype as of right now, and I don't think they have a price outline either. But that would be a very good option if you don't want that just absolutely massive chassis on your wall. Now, you're wondering, great, where can I get one? You can't yet. The product actually hasn't been launched yet, and that's where they need the support of the community. I think these chassis are really great, and we need to get some enthusiasm behind it. All they have right now is a Facebook page and an email address. I'm gonna really encourage them to get a Twitter account so they can keep us up to date as to when these products are gonna be launched, and I would really like to see them get a website up as well, although I think they are working on that right now. However, we will post where you can find them in the description. You guys should really check them out, like them, and just give them your support. They need the community rally behind them in order to get this launched through. And I really want it to work because I want one of their cases. They have talked to me about potentially sending me a review product. So if I can get my hands on one of those, I'll show you guys one that we can build a computer on and you guys can see what the experience is to actually work with one of these chassis. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Leave a comment if there's anything you'd like us to cover in the future. Check out our podcasts wherever you get your podcasts from. And check out our forum at techtested.io.